Hello, Miami. This is 305 Sports Now, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will, and I have to uh, start this podcast, this video, with a quote from a uh, 90s rap group Public Enemy. Cormani McLean is a cane, so all those rumors, you had to shut them down, all right? So Cormani McLean shuts down all the rumors that you may flip to Alabama. He uh, declines to go to a visit, you know, to see Nick Saban and Javaris Robinson over there in Tuscaloosa. And he automatically, basically, firmly commits to the Miami Hurricanes. So congratulations. I know I know, still pen to paper, but the way this all sounds, the way his... Uh, uh, the, the way his mom, you know, loves the University of Miami, the way his social media outlets look and stuff like that. Um, it does look like there's no indication that Carmani McLean is even thinking about decommitting and committing with another school. So Carmani McLean will once again take his 15 interceptions, all right, over to uh over to Green Tree and stuff like that, laid out the rock over next season and become a Miami Hurricane at, as of early signing day, December 21st to, to the 23rd. Around that period, it's exciting. All right, the, the Miami Hurricane uh, defensive back room has thinned out. Okay, with a lot of um, a lot of students are transferring, entering the transfer portal or entering the NFL draft, as you just found out from Tyreek Stevenson. So, with Kermani, you know, reaffirming his commitment with the Miami Hurricanes, we ju- we also just saw a picture as well uh, laid out by um by basically most uh, by many um um podcast video media engines and stuff like that. Kermani is a official Kane. So kudos to Alex Dono, you know, basically heard the information from, from on three. All right. And also Carmani confirmed it himself, you know, uh, with it, with his own post. So, all right. So this is good, right? So the Miami Hurricanes can take, breathe a sigh of relief. It's not over. Okay. You, you best believe Alabama is still going to try. All right. They're or any the other school is still going to try. This kid is an absolute talent. All right. He was not only a cornerback. He also played wide receiver as well. So he is, you know, the real deal. Again, can show he can tackle. He's long. He's lanky. He's fast. He can cover, and he's an interception machine, which is very important. All right, as well for uh for any team, and for that matter, you know, because turnovers, you know, pretty much are game changers. All right. So the Kane's got a good one. Um, and why not? You know, as of right now, if I'm a cornerback and um I'm a young senior about to about to graduate, and I'm looking at a school, why not look at Miami? You have a perfect opportunity to start, you know, right away because of the thin, you know, defensive back room. That doesn't mean that Miami's not going to try to fill up needs in the transfer portal. They will. I'm sure they will, you know, in particular. But uh, the bottom line is that my, um, as of right now, I do see a bright future. Obviously, Antoine Jackson's coming in as well. You know, um, you know, the, the, the cornerback out of Dillard, right? He's coming in as well. All right. And then um, we're probably, I'm picking... You know, uh, Damari Brown, I think my, my Damari Brown is going to be a cane, right? I think he might like the idea of a no-fly zone between him and Cormani, you know, coming in together as incoming freshmen. And potentially, hopefully, if they pan out, especially graduating as Miami Hurricanes or going into the league together as Miami Hurricanes, okay? So, great day, all right? Um, again, it's very – people panic, and I get the panic. I get, you know, the way NILs are done, and, and it's Alabama – you know, but you, but I think it's best to always hear from a kid, especially or even a parent, that you're lock stepped in. Okay, you're lock stepped in. That not not to worry. A lot of fans had him. You know, like you know, gone already. And 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 I, even in my comment section, people were saying, ah, he's gonna flip to Bama. And I'm like, ah, I don't think so. All right, he has left no indication that he's done that. Okay. So the bottom line is that Carmody McLean, as of right now, is going to be a Miami Hurricane. All he's gotta do is put ink to paper, and we're good. Okay, so congratulations again for Mark Cristobal and also to Marcus Van Dyke, who is pretty much seen as the lead recruiter in bringing Carmani and will probably be seen as a lead recruiter in Damari Brown as well, as I know he's been heavily involved in the recruitment of Damari as well. Um, I, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm really glad we kept DVD on the staff, man. I mean, he has been, and again, Mario likes guys that like to recruit, so we'll see. So we'll see what, what else uh, what else we could pull off, especially on signing day or later on in February as well when it, when it's officially over, the recruiting aspect is over. All right, so up next, okay, so now also commit or going to lay out his commitment uh, uh, tomorrow evening or Sunday, uh, not tomorrow, or, or Sunday afternoon is expected, will be the four-star running back Chris Johnson or Christopher Johnson out of Dillard High, all right, the speedy, 
Um, incoming freshman is set to make his his decision between Miami and Ole Miss. Chris Johnson has been courted by schools like Miami, Ole Miss, Alabama, as well as Clemson. Um, Oregon State is another school, and I think Oregon as well has tried to um, get the services of um, of Christopher Johnson. Uh, but Chris has decided is decided between two schools, one being Miami, the other one being Ole Miss. It's a two way race between those two schools, and I do think that Miami will win out that race. He's he's made out he's made some positive statements about the Canes recently, even though we were afraid about two weeks ago when he said he was he wasn't too sure about um, entering a rebuild situation, but he's reaffirmed he likes Miami. Um, I saw an interview with with him that was done three months ago, as of today, and he said Miami is a school that's recruiting him the hardest. All right, Kevin Smith um, tech, uh, calls him every single day. This was three months ago. Kevin Smith calls him every single day, and Mark Cristobal texts him every single morning. So this kid has felt that he feels wanted by the University of Miami. He feels that they really want him to play you know, for that school. In, in Chris Johnson, you're getting a guy that's blazing fast, right, blazing fast. Um, he's great on screens, okay? He's a track champion, so you know that speed will translate well to the football field. So with the loss of Jalen Knighton and his speed and his shiftiness and stuff like that, I think um, uh, Chris Johnson could be a, a great substitute, you know, for for the loss of the rooster. All right, even though we're bringing Seven McGee, you know, in particular, I do think that Chris Johnson um, will, will complement the Miami Hurricanes, what they're trying to do schematically, very well. Right. Hopefully, again, if we do retain Gaddis, we see much improvement. Um, Miami can only go. You can't get any worse, man. Miami can only go up. All right, and the schedule does look a little tougher. You know, now that the divisions are gone, there's no more coastal. All right, it's just ACC flat out. Okay, so you have to deal with Clemson again, Florida State, and and I do think I do think the Atlantic is a bit tougher than the coastal was. So we'll see about that. All right, so and again, of course, the Mark Fletcher, Mark Fletcher. You know, the other standout out of American Heritage. It's a fight between you know Miami and Florida. I uh, hope he looks at the running back, running back room and picks Miami. But people think that he's a more of a Florida lean. So we'll see what happens there, right? Because you could use a little thunder and lightning with Chris Johnson and Mark Fletcher, all right? Um, all right, everything that's it for me, right? Like I said, uh, short, straight to the point. We'll see you in the Studio 5 Sports now. If you like what you heard, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.